Okey, istimewa dalam sukat. Assalamualaikum hari ini, hmm. Dato'. Ah, kita bawakan kepada para penonton uh, berkenaan dengan kotel kopi. Hari ini rasa macam pagi ini rasa macam lengkap kita. Ada sandwich, yeah. kita ada kopi. Ice kopi. cream. Kita ada ice cream. Ya, yeah, betul. Ah, kan, hmm. dessert pun ada. Memang lengkaplah hari ini hmm. sarapan kita. Betul. Ya. Okey, bersama kita hari hmm. yes. ini adalah ha. panel yang akan menceritakan hmm. uh, tentang kopi. Mr. Richard Kotel. Owner of Kotel Coffee. How, How are you, sir? I'm very Thank good. Thank you. We are honored for you to be here. I'm, I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Yes. Okay. okay. Can you please introduce yourself yeah. and how you involve yourself into the coffee business? Well, basically, you'd probably say mm -hmm. got coffee in the bloodline. Mm -hmm. It's actually fourth generation in the industry from my side, mm -hmm. and. My father was in, well, goes right back to mm -hmm. my great-grandfather, mm -hmm. who was actually wow. a tea taster for Twinings mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. London. Mm -hmm. And then my f grandfather and my mm -hmm. father came mm -hmm. out to Australia, were in the coffee and tea industry mm -hmm. very high mm -hmm. up, mm -hmm. and he found an opportunity to work with a company, LD Lazarus. Oh. And they actually started roasting in 1912 in South Melbourne. Wow. So when he had the opportunity in the early 70s to buy the company, okay. he bought into it mm -hmm. and turned it into Coddle Coffee. Okay, so the beans, the beans, mm -hmm. uh, where do you, I mean, where do the beans come from? Well, we source them from all around the world. Oh, the okay. best beans? Yeah. The best we can find. Wow. Okay. The problem with the beans is consistency. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They plants keep changing, so what was good one year may mm -hmm. not be so good the next year. Mm -hmm. So they don't play fair. So <laughs> is the bean uh, come from Colombia? Um, and what well, is about Espresso Supreme? The Colombian mm. and all of those mm. are our single mm. origins. Okay. Mm. So those are one particular flavour profile mm -hmm. that we roast in the way we try to get the best out of the bean. Oh, Whether okay. we're trying to get a bit more citrus mm -hmm. out of it, a little bit more body, mm -hmm. a little bit more of a finish to it. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Espresso Supreme mm -hmm. is a blend. It's the plant. And yes. this is the signature of yeah. Kotel Coffee, right? Yes, that mm -hmm. would be our signature. I'm a coffee lover myself. <laughs> yes. What makes your coffee so special compared to the other coffee in the market? Um, every single... Mm. Well, if you take it that mm. you could give every single coffee roaster, mm -hmm. say, the Colombia, and all of them will come up with a different flavour profile. Mm. So you can have exactly the same coffee. And then when you get to espresso, there's no rules. So what we choose to put in espresso coffee mm -hmm. is, for us, a Melbourne style. Mm -hmm. So we're after something that's got enough acidity to cut through the milk. Mm -hmm. Melbourne's very milk-based coffees, where mm -hmm. probably around 90% of it would be milk-based. Mm -hmm. And that's what we find also over here, mm -hmm. wow. a very similar palette yes. to what we've got in Melbourne. And also a lot of the students have studied. So where can we get your coffee? Well, we're available. Mm -hmm. We're at the moment setting up the website. Oh. Um, that's linked back to Australia. You have in your like social media. Yes. Okay. Yep. So we've got the Facebook page, so Coddle Coffee Malaysia, uh -huh. and also we've got the mm -hmm. shop in Uptown Damansara. Oh, mm -hmm. up, uh, up the Damansara Utama, right? Yes. Oh, oh it's a coffee shop. Yes. Mm. Oh, okay. Yes, and, a cafe, and, and we've got all the barista tools mm, and everything nice, available nice, there. Nice. The only, the only coffee. I mean, you don't plan to have like franchise. Uh... No, we supply to the mm -hmm. wholesale industry. Mm -hmm. So what we do in Melbourne, we supply to the restaurants and oh. cafes and things like that. And we saw a great opportunity over mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and also with people from studying in Melbourne and coming back home, yeah. wanted that style. Oh. So mm. we saw the opportunity in 2014 and came over with the Melbourne style coffee. Okay. Oh. And a cotton coffee start from December 2015, right? That's when we opened the cafe. Okay. And how would you compare the Australian, uh, Australian market to the Malaysian market for coffee? Well, it's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Number one, they're in some ways very mm -hmm. similar. Mm -hmm. But what we found in 2014 when we came mm -hmm. over, they were really looking for something mm -hmm. new and wanted that whole specialty coffee market was starting. Mm -hmm. And I'd say that was similar to where, say, Melbourne was back in mm -hmm. 2000, when Third Wave started through and that. Mm -hmm. The big difference I found over here, it's taken Melbourne 15 mm -hmm. years, 16 mm -hmm. years to get mm -hmm. to that point, where it's only taken Malaysia about two and a half, three years mm. to catch up to Melbourne. Mm -hmm. So they're not only caught up, I think they're 
actually pushing the bar as far as Melbourne coffee is concerned. So you really have that, you know, for the for, you are the fourth generation, right? Yes. You're telling me. So how long you will be like to, to for you to master the all all types of uh, beans, coffee? Truthfully, that's one thing I've You learned it from 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 small. Yes, yes, learned oh. it from small. From your grandfather. The whole industry is always evolving. So you got no choice. <laughs> Unfortunately, my father died 35 years ago, uh -huh. but where the markets changed in that period of time mm -hmm. is amazing and even year to year mm -hmm. it's always there's new crops different stuff coming out mm -hmm. there's new equipment new processing mm -hmm. there's natural mm -hmm. pulped so yeah the whole market just keeps evolving mm -hmm. with new equipment new ways to do things mm -hmm. so it never gets boring <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's interesting. That. Okay, now you have the uh, yeah. beans. Uh -uh. This and is beans from have, Brazil? That, you have, like, that is, yep. So that's our Brazilian. Mm. So we basically will go around mm. and besides the fact of the um, single origins. How about the ready-made coffee? Yeah, like the, this? Those, well, that's actually the cold drip. So that's okay. actually a 12 hour uh -huh. process uh -huh. with cold water drinking. This is ready, through. ready to drink? That is. Mm. Yes. So we serve that with ice okay. and water it down a little bit oh. with the ice diluting ah. it. It's quite an intense flavour. It looks flavor. like a medicine bottle. Oh, yes. <laughs> It is for some people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Caffeine, that's all they need in the morning. Caffeine to hype. Yeah. Yes. So, do you have anything to share, to share with the viewers about coffee? Yeah. Well, generally, as I said, as far as actually coming over here mm -hmm. and supplying this market, I do see that not only can we learn mm -hmm. with what the market's doing over here, but we can It'll get a lot involved with training. Mm. So we're going to be doing, with our new premises, we're mm. setting up a roaster and we're going to be doing um, home barista courses mm -hmm. all the way through training through there, all mm. the way up to professional training for baristas. I understand that the coffee machine itself costs you like 100,000, like thousands. Oh, they have big so varying. the most expensive coffee machine that you ever have. Well, some of the coffee machines mm -hmm. cost the same as a small car. So... <laughs> And some of them, and I don't really like the very expensive ones. Mm -hmm. um, I do find they're a bit overcomplicated and mm -hmm. tend to break mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Whereas I recommend, say, things like the La Mazzocco mm. that are an excellent, consistent coffee machine. Mm. And then you've got a full range of other equipment. Mm. Each customer needs something different and requires a different coffee machine. So mm. we carry all of them to be able to oh. choose whatever one suits Excellent. them the best. Okay. And thank you so much, Mr. Yes. Richard, for sharing the co coffee thank knowledge yeah. with us. May maybe the last word uh, for viewers uh, to come to uh, co Kota Coffee, maybe? Yes. Yeah. Well, we're in Uptown Damansara. Please come to Kota Coffee. Come on down. With Mr. Richard and yeah. all the baristas. Yes, right? we've got some fantastic baristas. Yes. All the blends are available there. And you can come in, try the coffees, and a few really good cakes too. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. 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 Thank you.